Hello there. Today I will be doing a review on Scott Pilgrim's vs. The World. A great film, may I say. Great cast, great director. This is probably one of the best films I've seen, like, but I thought, you know what, let's talk about it because it's that good. Uh, let's see, what do we have? The cast, everyone they cast for this film was perfect. Literally, like, I can't imagine them choosing anyone else to fill these roles. Uh, Edgar Wright, perfect. Probably one of the best directors I can think of, and his movies are just great. He's known for his movies, uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Baby Driver, um, and The World's End, and then obviously Ant-Man. All great movies, love them all, and probably going to watch them tonight after this. <laughs> But no, it was all great. Loved the cast, L loved the movie, loved the director, and he bought this uh, like comic book side, this game side. Just shoved. It's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle from different boards, and he managed to bring them over and fit them in, and it just works. It just works, and I love it. But yeah, no, uh, the plot. I'll do quickly 10 seconds of me and the plot and what the plot's about. Basically, Scott Pilgrim falls in love with this girl, Ramona Flowers, but then finds out he has to defeat her seven evil exes. Dab, stab, boom, boom, doom, doom, drama, comedy, action, boom. But now I want to be talking about the shots. These, the attention to shots and detail and attention to all of it, it's just, it's great. Like, for example, you've got what they call the exes, like, in different scenes you get little easter eggs of the exes and it just shows that much detail it's like for example when he first finds out you have the um exes on the signs which are more noticeable uh because obviously it's basically throwing it in your face compared to like the other ones but for example you've got uh what is it the the x on his coat which is a sort of nod to it but it's not as uh thrown out there as the, the signs um but no it's like you've got the just attention to detail really for example it's like in the storyline the third e evil x he, they talk about how he punched a hole in the moon and then during that battle you have the the glimpse of the moon and you can actually see the detail of where they've made a hole in the moon but it's just it's just stuff like that i love about movies it's how far are they going to take this and how much detail are they going to put into this story to make it good. But I love how they brought the comic and the game side, shoved it into this movie and it's came out really well. Compared to like some of the stuff you normally see, it doesn't come out great but you look at this and you're like, this is a great comic slash like game movie. It, it goes in doesn't have too much of it doesn't have just under not just over just the right level it's perfect like you've got the effects or when they're fighting you know like comic effects like pow fud all that stuff uh with the gaming side you've got like p bar uh when he's pissing <laughs> it, it's basically bringing all these elements you wouldn't think would work this well putting it together and just making it work really well but like you, you gotta give it to like the actors and actresses, like the performances and just the how the director want this film to go out. Cause it's just solid. It's just great. He, they made it go out. They really did something great here that you don't normally see a lot when it comes to movies like this. Everything about this film, I love. The only issue I have with it is there's some scenes in there which don't really need to be in there and doesn't do anything for the story or it doesn't make you understand the story more for example so you've got like when he sh when scott shows knives his childhood home there's no point of that really being in there because it doesn't go with the story it doesn't move the story forward it doesn't it doesn't bring new light to something we didn't know you, you get something similar to this with the when he's dreaming in the school about uh, Ramona. There's no reason. Of, I understand it's a dream, but there's no reason for it to be in the school because we don't really get like 
a lot of information or detail about Scott and his school life anyway. We know he's 22, we know he's been out of school for a while now, we know he's dating a schoolgirl, uh, knives, but it's not enough attention to put it into the dream when he's dreaming about the school and then Ramona turns up and then it goes to his door and then that's when he wakes up. That doesn't really make sense. It's not enough storyline plot about a school or about his school or school storyline in general to do that. Uh, you get it similar with the desert. Uh, with the desert, it sort of makes sense, but sort of doesn't. Uh, it makes sense to as when he feels alone, he goes to this desert where he's alone and like deserts are alone and there's no one around. But it's like, why is it a desert? Am I missing something? Uh, but no, it's just, it's my personal opinion. I just think those scenes don't really need to be in there. It could have been shot like somewhere else or something else, but it doesn't really need to be there. Uh, what else I want to talk about is the intro. Oh my god, yes. The intro is great. Basically, you come in, you're, st you're basically bummed straight into the movie. Uh, you start off meeting the characters, Scott, Knives, the band. Uh, then they play the first song. Great song, by the way. I love that song. Um, and then it, ba it showed that intro. Those first couple of minutes are crucial to the film. And that is also why it's so good. Because it just throws you in there and it shows you everything that, that you're about to witness. It, it just shows you the quirkiness of each character. Already, you've already got the effects coming in with them. When they're showing off the characters' names and age and the little details. It's just stuff like that which is great. Uh, what else do I like? I just, I love the performances, details, edits, effects. There's a lot of this I love. There's also, I think the best way to talk about the whole effects and sound and lighting and performances coming in is probably the base battle when Scott is up against the third X and they're having the whole um, base battle. The reason I say that is because basically you get the, when they're going in, you get the effects of the, the comic effect with the duh duh duh. Yeah, you get the sound, lovely sound. The shots are amazing. You basically go to one shot of the guitar uh, playing, then the shot of the actor's face, then another shot of the other person's guitar, their face, and it, it's showing you these expressions. It's also another reason why I love this film so much is because the effects it has and how they do it. For example, it's like they use the, the split screen effect, which I love. Um, for example, it's like when Scott uh, dies near the end they they get like one second showing everyone's single emotion in that room all on to that screen at once and it also brings out the comic to the film as well all those split screens throughout the film it's it's telling you yo this is like a comic but it, it's the film as well and they did it but they didn't overdo it and they knew when to do it and when not to do it. They knew it's a film. We want comic themes in it, but it's still a film. They did really well on that. Split screen effect is actually one of my favorite effects. It's, it's something I really want to use in the future because it allows you to get a lot of expressions and emotions and just shots in general onto like scenes at once. And it just... It allows you to express more and I feel like that's also what this film was doing. It was expressing themselves through these split screens as well, bunching it all down together and I just, I really liked it. This this is a solid good film, though I do want to talk about the performances that everyone had and yeah, I just want to talk about that quickly. Uh, for example, Scott Pilgrim's performance in that just amazing like a solid 9 out of 10 maybe 9.5 out of 10 it's just michael brings on this performance and this awkward quirky teen young adultness and he just somehow brings it on and he just makes it really good and so i i'd give that performance a solid 9.5 out of 10 uh when it comes to uh, ramona flowers uh the actress behind her uh, I would give that a solid, ooh, uh, maybe 
8.5. I feel like there are some bits in there which could have been improved. But I, but I can't say that's due to her performance. That could be due to like other reasons. But I think there are bits in there which it could have been dealt. Her character could have been done differently or dealt better. So I'll give that about a 8.5 out of 10. Uh, Chris Evans' character, Lu Lucas Lee. Uh, he was a good character. Um, obviously, he's not really a big character in there. He's just one of the exes that gets defeated after. Uh, but what they were going after, you know, a cocky actor, a douche, pretty much. I feel like they did well with that. Uh, I'd give that probably a... I'd say no for what they're aiming for, I'd give that a 9. I wouldn't go after performances but performance was well but what they did solid 9 out of 10 uh, then you've got Glidian this this character is well, well done they're making him evil and bad but obviously they're not making him too bad they're still giving him that quirky side out to where it's sort of funny and he's a bad guy but you know you love him and it, it works they don't make him too serious and they don't make him too bad and i feel like in a movie like that this where it's not it's more of a comedy it is more of a comedy than like action i guess it works well it it works well and i feel like they did well on that and i'll give that performance a solid uh let's say 9 out of 10, a solid 9 out of 10 for, for most of these performances to be fair um, Ellen Wong, uh, Knives great, great character great performance, she really brought that character to one piece and I found the character funny uh, the performance overall was really good, I, I enjoyed her character a lot to be honest it was a good character development because at the start you have this childish girl that in love with this Scott Pilgrim guy then she's a bit childish but then as the movie goes on near near to the end you can see that she's grown up and I feel like I can't really see anyone else playing this character so I'd give this character probably a 9 out of 10 as well like it's a solid performance done by her and I say well done uh, the final person I want to talk about is uh, Kieran Cutling, also aka Wallace Wells. <laughs> this is probably one of the best, <laughs> best characters in the film. This role was just great. This performance was great. I loved it all. Like it brings off the, this. He, he's just yes. I, I just he's, it was a good performance. It made me laugh every time he was on. He made me laugh in some way. Like, he, he brought, like, the comedy side to some of the scenes, and it's like, there was no one else who could have got to do that. And I feel like having that character and having him in the scenes made it funny. Like, for example, you, you have, like, for the battle of the first X and the second X, he's there, and what he adds to it, it makes it even funnier. So I'll give this performance, uh, I would say a 9. Though, I do feel like that there could have been more done to this character or they could have done more maybe character development. Scott was definitely a good char character development. Uh, Knives was a good character development. No one else really was a big character development. But no, again, I'd give Wallace Wells uh, probably a 8.5 out of 10. I feel I feel like they could have done more to his character. His acting was fine. I, I enjoyed it. But when it comes to like characters and all, all that, I feel like they could have done more to him to make him better or Im like improve. But no, throughout the whole film, there wasn't a lot of character development. Only two characters really have developments. Uh, Ramona stays, stayed pretty much the same character throughout the whole film. Uh, overall, my opinion is I love the film. 8.5. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Great movie. Love it. This has been your boy uh, reviewing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I hope you enjoyed. This is my first one, so don't go too rough on me. It may be shit, but Ayo, what can you do? Um, I will see you guys next time.